Hey guys, you boy 300 Mopar coming back with another little video. Um, I was just going to kind of do another little how-to video. I know a lot of people seem to like the how-to videos. I seem to get the most views off of those too, so um, we're going to go ahead and do a how-to video. I'm going to show you today. Sorry, I had to see what that noise was. Um, I'm going to show you today how to change the spark plugs on a Chrysler 300 with a 3.6 liter. Um, I've already started it a little bit here, but I'll show you what I've already done. Um, just so you got the idea. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, like I said, I started it already. I didn't think about recording it until I was already started. So I'll show you what has already been taken off and we'll go from there. All right. So the main thing you can see that's already taken off obviously is the big engine cover. And your second step is your intake. Obviously that's an aftermarket intake. So if you have the factory intake, you don't have to take your whole box out. You could take the cup off right at the inlet there. And then you're going to want to remove the other half of it from up here. And all they are is some hose clamps. But when you take this off here, don't forget there's a bar that runs off of it and it's going to clip into this, so be careful so you don't snap this off. And then, after you've done all that, is the fun part. I'm not saying it's a hard job, but it's not the easiest job either. So, up here, you're going to see there's this tube right here. It slides over this. You're just going to have to kind of finagle your way to get it off of it. It does come off. It takes a little bit of time, but it will come off. You got this hose here. It connects. I'm trying to see if I can get the camera to show. There's a hose right there. See where my finger's pointing? You literally, it, that one was the hardest one I've had so far to get off. You just kind of got to stick a screwdriver in between the hose and this and kind of pry it around it a little bit to get it to pop free but it does come off um, with a little bit of work and then you have your oh it's right there this hose right oops sorry this hose right here that comes off of this spot right there Same thing goes, if you got a pair of needle nose, stick it around it, kind of wiggle it until it comes loose. It will come loose. And then you're going to have a harness right here that plugs in. Make sure you pull the clip back first, the little red one, then once you got it, it pushes in, pops out. Up top up here, there's another plug-in right here. You're going to have a plug-in just like this one. Click in like that. Same thing goes. Don't forget to pull back the little tab. Push the tab in. Pull it out. And then you got this plug-in right here. This is the main one that plugs into your intake. I'll show you on my intake where it was plugged in at. It should be the same location on the factory box as well. It'll be right down here. There's a sensor. You can either take the whole sensor out or you can leave the sensor in it and just unplug it pretty simple to do. There ain't no tab on this one, you just got to get your hand down below it, push the little tab in and pop it out. Alright, now I'll show you where we're at so far. It's hard to see here, if I can find it. Right here, there's one nut, there's a bracket. Unscrew that nut right there, it's a 10 millimeter. And there's another one right here. 10 millimeter as well. I used the ratchet, small one. Um, able to get right back in there, take it off. And then you're gonna come over to the other side and let's see if I can figure out how to show you where they are. Okay, there's a nut right here as well. It's also a 10 millimeter. Now this hose here is really stiff, it doesn't really move very well. And there's also another one on this side right here. They're pretty easy to see. They all have silver nuts on them, so they stand out pretty good. And the only way I was able to get in there is with a 10 millimeter wrench. You just kind of got to get your wrench down in there and 
loosen them up. Don't take much, and then you can finger loosen them the rest of the way. They come off fairly simple. And then from this point on, we're going to take all these out right here. There's a bolt there, bolt here, bolt here. And there's another one down there. Same with this one, this one, this one. And then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to set you guys up here while I take those off. And I'll show you what the next step is after that. And also, if you guys do like this video or you like these how-to videos, do me the favor and just, you know, hit the like button if you haven't already subscribed. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright, I had to try to find an extension there. I lost it. Best bet is a nice long extension. That way you can get down inside these ones here. Okay. Those are not a 10 millimeter. All right, so these ones here are eights. And the bolts do not fully come all the way out. So just, you know, get them loosened up enough like that. You don't have to take them all the way out. They're designed to stay in it. And the whole pur purpose of taking this piece off of here is because you got three spark plugs here underneath these coils and your other coil pack is underneath this. So you kind of got to take it off to get to the other three spark plugs. There's a total of seven of these bolts you see me taking out right now. Just a heads up. Alright, I can't seem to see that one. There it is. So, to take this off of here, make sure everything's clear of this. I don't want to pull nothing off. Oh, that's right. I forgot. There is one down there. All right, I think it just got a little bit more fun. This is a 13 millimeter. I'll show you where it's at really quick. If you look, right here, there's a 13 millimeter which holds this bracket on, make it so that you can actually get this stuff all out of here. That's the bolt I'm gonna take out right now. Now I did it. Can't get my camera to stand back up. There we go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pop that screw out really quick. Quiet, Olivia. It does come out fairly easy. Sorry for the dogs barking. It's a nice day out today, so I let them come outside. And well, apparently now they can hear me talking to you guys on the camera here. And yeah, I'm just gonna bark for a few minutes. Whatever reason, this bolt's a little bit tight to get out. Alright, so I got the bolt free in the back. Turns out it's a whole, I don't even know, welded nut bolt. So you're just going to kind of lightly pick up on it like this. And then slide it towards you. Like so. That's nice. Alright, hold that theory. Seeing a little bit of a situation here. Again. Alright, so it looks like I didn't notice these. Right here, there's a clip. And right there, there's a clip as well. That are kind of clipped to the Part, so we're going to go ahead and pop those free really quick. Alright. Now we should be able to just lift this bad boy right up off of here. Like this. Alright, so then what you're going to want to do, just take a couple clean rags, <coughs> and just set them over those, that way you don't get nothing that drops down inside there. You know, that's the last thing you want, is something to fall down inside it. And now, we have full access to all the spark plugs underneath each coil. So, take those out, 10 millimeter. Like 
pieces. Loosen the screw. Also, one of the screws, they don't come all the way out. I mean, if you take it all the way out, it's not going to hurt it. Just kind of wiggle the quail pack around a little. Make sure you got your screw out. Makes a big difference. Wiggle your quail pack like that. Unplug that. Now you can see the quail pack came all the way out. Go ahead and look at it, you know, make sure you're. It all looks good, clean. You don't see no holes or tears, which we don't. Then you're going to grab a. Your 5 8 spark plug uh, wrench. Or not wrench, I'm sorry. Socket. Go ahead, put it on your ratchet. And your spark plug is going to be straight down here. Go ahead and just back around out. Just like that, you see we got our spark plug out. Well, the only reason I'm changing my plugs. Oh, I just touched my nose, that's nice. Because um, the car is at about 100,000 miles. It's never had a spark plug changed in it, so I decided that I should just go ahead and change them. But. I'm not gonna make you guys sit and watch a entire video on me putting this all, changing all six spark plugs and putting it all back together. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You just could repeat the process. Take out your spark plug. Obviously, make sure you check with the spark plugs that you bought from your parts store too to make sure that you know they're the same length and uh, everything as well. That way, you ain't trying to put the wrong spark plugs in your car. Um, but yeah. Continue the process.